Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform an incremental backup of an Oracle Database. Now, the only way to perform an incremental backup of a database is to use RMAN, Recovery Manager, okay? And that's because RMAN actually connects to an Oracle Database via a server-client connection and it um, can read the data files and determine what has what data blocks have changed since the last incremental backup run okay so it it has logic knowledge logical knowledge of what's going on in the database okay and there are two types of incremental backups offered in an oracle database in the in R man um, differential is one of them and cumulative is another one so it's differential and it's cumulative um, this video shows you how to perform a differential Oracle incremental backup. Um, please refer to my YouTube video on how to create a cumulative Oracle database incremental backup for information on that type of incremental backup. Now an incremental backup will always um, save you space on your backup device and will save you time in backup processing. and will also save you network bandwidth and transfer if you have a network backup solution because it doesn't back up everything in an Oracle database only back up it only backs up what has changed since the last um, incremental backup so let's go ahead and set our Oracle SID to finance ensure we're set properly and let's log into our RMAN let's log into our database via the RMAN program recovery manager Okay, so we're connected to the finance database um, via RMAN. Now to perform, and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a level zero incremental backup on Sunday, and I'm going to do a level one every other day of the week. So mon so Sunday will be level zero incremental, and Monday through Saturday will be level ones. Okay, so to perform the first incremental backup, which is always going to be a full or a level zero backup, we'll call it. Okay, um, you type in the following. Backup incremental level equals zero database, and we'll give it a tag. And a tag is nothing more than a name for the backup that the control file knows the backup as. Level zero, we'll call it Sunday. So in this scenario, it's Sunday night, and we'll do and we're doing a level zero. Now notice how I just said incremental. I didn't say what type. That's because by default, if you don't specify what type of incremental backup, Oracle will default to a differential. So again, by default, Oracle will always do a differential incremental backup. And the database is running in archive log mode, so we can do a hot backup, which is a backup that, that, that can run while the database is um, up and running, while it's open. And while this uh, level zero backup is running, I am going to pause the video. Okay, so our level zero backup has completed. If we type in list backup summary, we will see that we have two backup pieces, level zero Sunday. The first backup piece, which is file IDT, contains our data file backups. And our second data piece, which is file e IEP, contains a backup of our control file and a backup of our SP file. Okay. So let's get out of RMAN and let's connect by our old friend SQL Plus. Now I'm going to create a table in this database now called days and I'm going to give him one column called day and give him the data type variable character 20. Then I'm going to insert one row of data into this table. So insert into days values Monday. Okay, because we did our Sunday, now we're going to do our Monday backup. And we do select asterisk from days. We will see oops, we will see our one row of data Monday. So now let's connect via Rman again. And let's recall our backup incremental command. And this time we're going to say Monday in our tag. We're also going to change our tag to say level 1. 
and we're going to change level equals 0 to level equals 1 since this is a level 1 incremental backup. And since this is a differential backup, what it's doing is the differential is just backing up everything that has changed um, since the last backup, since um, since your level zero backup. That's all. It's it's that's all. It's um, so everything, all data files that have all data blocks that have changed, which in our case is a minimum of that of that of the days table and that Monday row that we put in. That's what's being backed up right now. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, can I just do a backup database command, the most basic RMAN backup database command there is, and can that count as my level zero, my full backup? No, it can't. Even though when you do a backup incremental level equals zero command, and you just do a backup database command, even though they're both doing the same thing, which is backing up everything, they're not the same thing according to RMAN. So RMAN will not accept your backup database command without any arguments or clauses as a level zero in an incremental scheme. You need to perform a level zero explicitly. So now that Monday is done, we do a list backup summary, and we see we now have four backup pieces, two level zeros and two level ones for Monday. So let's go back into SQL Plus, and let's insert another row of data into our days table Tuesday. Select asterisk from days, Monday, Tuesday. Now let's connect via RMAN again. And let's perform another level one incremental backup. We'll change our tag for Tuesday. And we'll keep this at level one. And again, what this is doing is, since I just said backup incremental and I didn't specify what type of incremental, it's defaulting to a differential. So this is a differential incremental backup and basically it's backing up everything that has changed okay, since the last incremental which is Monday. So this backup is only going to contain the changes that went in on Tuesday which in our case is one row of data, the Tuesday row. Okay, And I'm going to pause the video until this is done. Okay, so now that backup is done. We do a list backup summary and we will see we have six files now. We have two for level zero, two, uh, two Sunday, two for level one Monday, and two for level one Tuesday. So let's connect by SQL Plus once again and let's insert our next row of data. Insert into days values. Anyone? You guessed it. Wednesday. Commit select asterisk from days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and we connect by RMAN again and once again we do our backup incremental level 1 and we change this to Wednesday and what this is doing is it's backing up all the changes to the Oracle database that have occurred since the Tuesday incremental backup. So this file will only contain changes that occurred on Wednesday, which in our case is one row of data, the Wednesday row in the days table. And again, I'm going to pause this backup until this, the video until this completes. Okay, now if I type in list backup summary, I will see that I have two, for, two files for Sunday, two for Monday, two for Tuesday, and two for Wednesday. Connect by SQL Plus once again. And let's do an insert for Thursday. Here's our insert for Thursday. Commit. Select asterisk from backups. Oops. Well, I don't know what I was doing there. From days. And we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Connect by RMAN again. And we do a backup incremental level one again for Thursday. And again, this is only backing up the changes to the database since the incremental backup ran on Wednesday. Okay, so this file will only contain changes for Thursday. And I'm going to pause this video once again. Okay, so we do a list backup summary. Okay, and we have two for two level zeros for Sunday, 
Here are two files for Monday, two for Tuesday, two for Wednesday, and two for Thursday. Let's fill plus again. And this time let's insert a row of data for Friday. So what we're doing with these inserts is we're basically representing a change for each day. There would be a lot more than this usually in the, in the real world. Select the asterisk from days, and here we are, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So now, so we're giving our man something to back up each time. So we connect via our man again, and we do our backup incremental level 1, and this one is for Friday favorite day of the week. And again, we'll pause. And this is all the backup changes that have occurred since the Thursday backup. Okay, that backup is completed. So now we do list backup summary. And we see we have one for Friday now. We have two for Friday, actually. Now, so now we connect by SQL Plus again. And we do our next insert. But this t And this last one is going to be Saturday. And the reason why this is our last incremental one is because the, the next day, um, Sunday, is going to start our whole a new series, if you will. So everything starts again. It resets. So now it's going to be a level zero again because it's going to be a new week, the next backup run. And here we are, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So one final time, we connect via our man. And we run our backup incremental level 1, change our tag to Saturday. And we let this database backup run. And again, I'll pause the video. And this backup will contain all changes that have occurred since Friday. Okay, so this backup summary. And we'll hear all of our backups for the week. So we have two from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, so if we needed to recover, what we would need is we would need all the backups, including the day we want to recover to. So if we wanted to recover to Wednesday, we would need Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday's backups in order to do it. And if we wanted to recover till Saturday, we would need Mon su Sunday through Friday through Saturday's backups. So we would need Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday's backups to recover to Saturday, okay, because it's a differential and a differential file only contain incremental file only contains changes since the last incremental backup, not since the full, since the last incremental, okay, and that's the difference between differential and cumulative, okay, cumulative will not only contain the incremental changes since the last backup, but will also contain all the incremental changes for all the other backups as well since the full, okay. Alright, that's how you perform a differential incremental backup.